Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of B Cone Knives. Today in the shop, we're gonna be forging out some shepherd's hooks out of 10 foot rebar. Let's get going. Let's go ahead and talk about the materials we'll be working with today. So I've got two 10 foot pieces of rebar that I'll be forging into these shepherd's hooks. So let me go ahead and flip this camera around and get that forge lit. Before we heat up the steel, let me show you on this piece of wire what it is I'm going for. So the first end, I'm just gonna taper out to give me a nice little spike to put down into the ground. Now on this side, I'm actually going to be hanging the basket. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go down a couple of inches and bend it over 90 degrees and then pound it back so that it gives me a nice little hook to hang the basket on. After that, I'll be going down eh, four to six inches or so and give it a 90 degree bend. Uh, make sure everything nice is nice and straight. And then from there, I'll be going about eight inches to a foot or so give it another 90 degree bend and there you have your shepherd's hook that'll work perfect for hanging baskets and stuff like that so now let's go ahead and jump on over to the forge and get that steel hot let me tell you dealing with 10 foot of rebar is definitely a pain in the butt especially if you have a small shop like i do but if you set it up just right you can make it work um, obviously these things are not perfect but that's totally fine I'm going to go ahead and take this moment and ask you guys to please like, comment, and subscribe, especially the subscribe button. That would help me out a lot, and I appreciate the support of all of you guys. So I had to use every bit of the anvil to try to straighten these things out. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to work for it and make things work. All right, so I know that these are not the prettiest things in the world. Um, obviously, this rebar and the rough forging um, isn't gonna make a really pretty shepherd's hook, but it's just something I needed to throw together real quick to stick in the ground and get the things hung up. So this one over here, I'm gonna throw a bird feeder on it, and this one over here is gonna have a nice basket of flowers. Um, hopefully, the thing that you're looking at and thinking that is pretty is the thing that you hang on it, not necessarily the rebar you know, hook itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a black coat of paint on both of them just to protect them from the elements. After doing this first coat of spray paint, I took these out of the ground and made sure to cover them from every direction just to make sure that they're protected from the elements. These shepherds took really pulled together my grillings area quite nicely and I really like the way that they look. They stand about seven foot tall and I drove them into the ground about a foot. If you'd like them higher or lower, of course you could always just trim them down a little bit further and make them just the way that you like. So if you like what you saw today, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate all the support. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day.